autologous stem cell uh, transplant in amyloidosis is part of the uh, treatment options we have for uh, our AL patients. Um, in myeloma, it's considered a standard of care for first-line uh, patients. In amyloid, uh, it's, it's a bit harder because we, only 20% of the patients are transplant eligible. Um, mainly those patients with cardiac involvement that are sometimes transplant ineligible. Um, so um, we only have one randomized control trial that, trial that evaluated the role of stem cell transplant uh, in amyloidosis patients. Um, and when you look at the results, you say, oh, I don't want to transplant. So the results aren't good uh, with about 25% of uh, transplant related mortality, which is much more than we see in myeloma. Um, and the key is actually to um, better select those patients um, because this trial included patients with extensive cardiac involvement uh, and this caused the high transplant related mortality. So first we need to know exactly which patients to choose for the transplant. Um, and the eligibility criteria are different between different centers. So there are no like unanimous uh, criteria for transplant in AL. Um, in the Andromeda trial, uh, that includes DERA as first line, which most of us started to use routinely. This trial does not guide us through how, through which patients to transplant or not. So we have no data about which patient to transplant in the era in the era of DERA tumor first line. Um, and and um, this is something that's still open. It's an open issue, uh, and it's mostly it's unknown whether those patients treated with daratumumab have been achieving very deep responses. Um, so achieving CR after dera treatment, um, transplanting the patient or delaying the transplant for relapse is actually a question, and nobody knows. So we don't know yet.